This is the future. Before anything else, I would like to thank Digital Extremes for fulfilling my request regarding the glyph change in the game. We are now using the new logo for Grind Hard Squad, and if you want to use this glyph, then simply just type the redeem code Grind Hard Squad without spaces in the market. Thanks for representing the squad and now, let's get into the video. So, as the title suggests this will be a solo guide on farming the new resources in the game called Void Blooms, which can only be farmed in new Zarim and Tile set. Take note that this is a one-stop shop guide that allows you to farm all the Void Blooms in the game. And since this is a solo guide, it would be much faster if done with a team as it cuts down the mission completion, as well as the time on finding Void Plume Down, Void Plume Crest, Void Plume Vein, and Void Plume Pinion. Why farm these resources though? Are they that important? The first reason why is because they are requirements in ranking up the new Holdfast standings. Every rank will require a Void Plume, which is why you need to have enough to max rank the Holdfast standings. A quick tip, in terms of Holdfast standings, the best way is still doing bounty missions, and exchanging Void Plume Quills to Archimedean Yonta. Why Void Plume Quills? because they are pretty common right now in bounty missions as rewards when completing the challenges in each bounty mission. Since we are at the early stage, I wouldn't recommend using the other void plumes for standings since they are necessary for other stuff in the game. So what missions are you suggesting to farm these void plumes squad leader? There's two missions, but you can make it just one when you have the patience, which I don't. I highly suggest that you step away from any Void Cascade, Void Armageddon, and Void Flood missions. Only do either the Exterminate mission or the Mobile Defense mission available in the Zarim and Tile set right now. The Halako Perimeter, which is the Exterminate mission allows me to farm Void Plume Down, Void Plume Vein, and Void Plume Crest easily while playing solo. This is because in each mission, these Void Plumes are scattered everywhere on the map, like Syndicate Medallions, and all you need to do is locate them. The Exterminate mission is faster compared to the three missions I have suggested disregard, since all you need to do is finish the mission first by killing all the required enemies, and then, you can proceed to find all the Void Plumes in the mission with the help of some mods and a specific frame. Take note that the builds I will show you are the ones that work for me and, I am only sharing this. If you like it, then follow it but if you don't, then just use it as a guide to creating your Void Plume farming build. So, the Warframe and setup I'm using is a Carpet Bomber Limbo using the Kuva Brammer. For my Limbo build, I'm using a Max Range, Max Efficiency with Natural Talent Spam the Cataclysm ability. Why do we need to do this? It's because Cataclysm breaks crates and containers, and it allows us to determine which are Void Plumes in the minimap. If there's a crate icon in the minimap that did not break, then that is a Void Plume or, something that can lead us to a Void Plume, or a key to acquire a Void Plume. Take note that Void Plume drops are random, being Void Plume Crest the rarest of the bunch. For the Kuva Brammer, it's usually the same carpet bombing build and, if you don't like the stagger effect, then might as well use the Honor of Focus for the Poise passive. And the most important mod, Loot Detector, and also Primed Animal Instinct, or the normal variant, so you can see all the loot in the area on your mini-map. Why not use Golden Instinct Squad Leader? It's good but breaking crates and relying on the mini-map is way faster and cheaper, compared to spending resources just to subsume that Helminth ability. Also, I am doing this farm right now in the normal Zarim and Tile set, and not within the bounty mission. Simply because, my limbo setup is just meant for level 50 and above enemies and, there are times that it can spawn Void Angels statues, but I just ignore them since my only goal is to farm all three Void Plumes I have mentioned, you can go into Bounty Exterminate, to get additional Void Plume Quills, but make sure that it's on the low tier level so you won't have a hard time. Remember that our goal here is to farm their resources at the fastest time possible. That is why I tend to separate farming these three Void Blooms, with the Void Plume pinions that can only be dropped by Void Angels. Although Void Armageddon guarantees a Void Angel spawn once you complete defending the three objectives, I highly suggest that you don't use this mission as Void Plume pinions are not guaranteed to drop from these types of Void Angels. The Void Angels we need here are those dormant ones that are statues and can be located in either Exterminate or the Mobile Defense mission. 
there are times wherein a void angel statue will spawn in the normal exterminate mission or the bounty variant, and you can activate these statues to kill the void angel and loot the void plume pinion. Then, you can finish the mission, and after that, you can continue farming the other void plumes that are possibly in the mission. It's like hitting two birds with one stone but I don't like it since it takes some time to finish. Now, I don't know if you notice this, but it seems that Void Angels are very weak against the Glaive Prime's heavy attack throw, especially when you strip their armors. Yes, armor stripping is a thing with the new Void enemies. Not just the Void Angels, but also the Thralls and you can strip their armors using any armor stripping ability. Not just Warframe abilities, but also the new focus ability on the Unruh focus called Caustic Strike that strips all armor of the enemy. This works against Void Angels, and they completely melt, even if they are high level when you throw the Heavy Attack Glaive Prime on them. A Heavy Attack Struffer will also do the trick, even the same with Redeemer Prime. When the armor of the Void Angel is removed, it becomes very weak that you can delete their health easily with any guns and melee weapons. Now, take note that this is a solo setup, and you can also rely on Exata's Whisper Mesa since it melts the health of Void Angels, even high level ones easily. If you are using this, then I would suggest using the Medurai Focus because of the new Void Strike. Once you depleted the health, the Void Angel will try to escape in a Void Dimension wherein you need to take down its shield with your operator before it regenerates its health. The fastest way to do this is using the Medurai Void Strike as it allows you to increase the Void damage of your amp, and skipping that part wherein the Void Angels will summon an orbiting orb that you need to destroy first using your new Void Sling before you can damage it again. With Majirai Void Strike, you can melt the shield, even at a high level, and skip that whole part, making the process a lot faster. Right now, I am using Exata's Whisper Mesa as a solo, then using the Majirai Focus. The only downside is, the Void Strike ability has 40 seconds cooldown, and you can only do this in one health phase of the Void Angel when doing it solo. On the other hand, a two-team setup will make the fight a lot easier, however, what I'm showing you is a higher level of Void Angel, and you can always do this at normal levels that take less effort. In terms of amp composition, I'm using my Clamorer, Proper, and Certus for this. My only problem with it is that this amp has a lower range compared to other amp compositions. But it does the work, and I have no complaints about it. Getting back to the mission, it's easy to do the mobile defense mission right now since the Void Angel statue is marked on your map. You get this when you are doing bounty missions that require you to kill dormant Void Angels but, it's not guaranteed to be always the mobile defense mission. It's pretty random and sometimes. The challenge is on Void Cascades or even Void Flood which I suggest not doing when farming Void Blooms. Well. The only pro of doing the mobile defense mission right now is that it got the marker for the Void Angel statue. If it doesn't have that, then I would say that Exterminate will still be my go-to mission for farming Void Pinions also. So, to make the story short, the Halako Perimeter right now is the best spot to farm all Void Blooms. Now, you have the option to separate farming Void Plume Pinions with the other Void Plumes or, if you have the patience, then you can just farm them all in one go but, Take note that it's not guaranteed always that the Void Angel statue will spawn in the mission. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Also, come hang out with us on our Discord server. The link is on the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.